Hello everyone, I am super excited about this video. I am going to introduce the brand new Holy Hiker Bidet, right there. But before we talk about the bidet, I just want to address something, and that is, I know that when you woke up this morning, you did not say to yourself, I need to go and watch a video about a bidet. I, that probably was not your first thought. So I'm gonna make this short and to the point. I also know that you probably, for most of you, never really thought about buying a bidet. That's not why you're watching this video. So let's get real for a second because it's just me and you. Unless you have someone else in the room with you, which is just weird that you chose to spend your time together watching a video about a bidet. So if you are sitting with someone, please turn to them quickly and apologize for what they're about to watch. You don't actually want a bidet. What you want is you don't want to stink after two or three days of backpacking or hiking or cycling. We all know that smell that starts coming up from your butt. That's not what you want. You don't want that feeling, and I know you know what I'm about to talk about, but not a lot of people address this on YouTube. That slippery, slimy feeling that you get after a couple of days, you don't want that. You also don't want that chafing that occurs. I've been there where every single step you take like feels like your last one. You don't want that. This little thing eliminates those. It eliminates the stake, the sliminess, and the chafing. As a bonus, it also eliminates toilet paper. So you don't need to worry about toilet paper. And if you really want to go for a bonus bonus, it also acts as a micro shower and you can rinse yourself off before you get all slimy in the sleeping bag and get those salts and oils over everything. So that's what this little thing does. I have been working on this for about, oh boy, four and a half years or so. And I know that if you've watched other videos or if you own a Holy Hiker version 1.0, you're probably saying it looks a lot like the old one. And it does look a lot like the old one. So let's address what is so great about this new one. First off, the old one was printed in resin with 3D printer in the corner of my house. I was able to make 10 at a time. It was a pain in the neck making 10 at a time and trying to do the packaging and trying to answer emails and all that other stuff. So I started looking around and tried to get a place that could do it with plastic injection molding. I found a place right here in my home state of Connecticut. So this is designed in the United States, made in the United States. Even the plastic comes from the United States. The O-ring comes from the Philippines. Fun fact, there are no O-ring manufacturers left in the United States. So the old one was made out of resin. This one is plastic uh, injection molded. One of the things that does is it reduces the weight to four grams. So this bidet weighs four grams. This one, depending on what scale you put it on, must be like seven and a half, because it'd be seven on one day or eight on another day. The other thing that the plastic injection molding does is it keeps it strong. So when I brought home the first samples from the factory, not really a factory, but let's just go with that. I threw three of them up in the air in my driveway and it's so light, it just like, it bounced higher than me. Uh, I've thrown them into rock walls. I've thrown them down flights of stairs. I have repeatedly thrown it up and down in my driveway and it just bounces up every single time. The next thing, and if you have never owned one of these, you would not notice the difference. Uh, if you own a previous model, you might notice this. The spray is slightly different. Based on many people's feedback, the size of the hole is slightly different, the angle, the shin, I won't get into all the details. It's ever so slightly different. I think you'd have to be really hardcore to actually notice the difference. Um, and it's still gonna use very little water. And if you are coming from another competitor's bidet, one of the things you have to realize is that this is going to use less water. It's not gonna be like flooding your butt all of a sudden. And you just have to trust it. You have to trust it. Um, I've never had an issue with people have, that have used this one first and then a competitor, but going the opposite way, it takes a couple of times to get used to the fact that you don't have to have, to have this big flood of water hitting you in order to clean you off. That's part of the four hole design. It's made to do something special and blast your butt clean. 
Um, the other thing is the arrow is back on top. It is not coming to you painted, and so your favorite nail polish uh, will do just fine to paint the arrow. You can also use a Sharpie, but the Sharpie tends to come off. There's also another slight design change, which again, most of you won't notice, but I've made it to go straight into the bottle so that you don't have to wet the O-ring first. And here what, here's what was in my head. It's gonna go into a bottle that already has water. And so if you happen to get one of these at home and you have a dry water bottle, just keep this in the back of your mind if it doesn't go in perfectly smooth. So when you have a bottle that has water in it and you're hiking, it's obviously sloshing around. Pick it up out of your backpack, it's gonna slosh around. So that inside of the neck is always gonna be a little bit moist. So this one is totally and completely dry and it is made to just be pushed right in. It's that simple. And let's talk a little bit about putting it in a bottle. Sometimes, and I've, I've asked every once in a while, I ask somebody, here's a bidet, not a stranger, but a family member, here's a bidet, put it in the bottle. And what I notice that they do is they try to put it in perfectly straight. Now you can see that it works for this bottle. Even with smart water bottles, they're all slightly different. But so the way that it's gonna pretty much always work is if you hook, hook might be the wrong word, but if you hook one edge of the O-ring first and then just push it up and in. If it's a really tight bottle, if you have a, if you really love some weird water company's bottle or something, I don't know, it might be a little bit tight, um, a little bit of a twist works, or you might just then end up having to wet the O-ring. And it's that simple. There are some bottles that I don't recommend. Cheap water bottles from say a dollar store, the kind that if you crumpled, they stay crumpled, they don't like pop back, like a smart water bottle pops back. So the kind that just crumple. This usually fits them. It's just a little bit slippery. So you do kind of have to just watch it when you spray yourself. Um, next thing, when you take it out, you don't pull it straight out. So your hand is probably going to be wet. So if you try to pull it straight out, it's going to slip. So what you want to do is you just want to think about snapping a pencil. It's the same action you just snap it out. Obviously not with the bottle sideways. So when I take it out, I tend to just use my thumb. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do it from the side. I tend to just push it out like that. Um, or you can just grab it and pull it out like that. But uh, that is all is all it takes to take it out of the bottle. For those of you that have watched other videos from me, you know that I don't really like to do a lot of editing, but I have to stick this one in here because I just finished the video that you were just watching that you'll continue watching in a second, and I forgot to talk about how to squirt the actual bidet and how it actually water comes out of it. First off, there's an arrow on the top. You want to put the arrow pointed at your thumb, and then when you reach around and point it towards your butt, you should have perfect aim. If you miss your butt, that's on you. Otherwise, the arrow goes to your thumb and you reach around. If you first get the bidet and bring it home, or you know you get it at home, don't try squeezing it in front of your face like this, because that's not how the same amount of strength you're gonna be squeezing it. Hold it like that and then just lower it. You don't have to hit your butt with it, but just lower it, pointing at the ground, and then squeeze. You don't have as much strength that way. So that's gonna give you a truer ID idea of what the spray is going to look like. Obviously the camera is high so I'm not going to be able to do that but just to give you a there we go just to give you a sample of what the spray is going to look like there you go so your butt is over there and you get a nice washing of your butt. Um, there are 1,000 that I was able to make in the first batch just in case you ever wondered what a thousand bidets look like that's a thousand bidets right there. And so I was able to have enough money left over after making the molds to get a thousand made. Um, I'm going to sell those and then hopefully turn that into more and we'll go from there. But just know that initially there is a limited quantity. And so I'm going to guess that that's just going to be, you know, obviously I'm just starting sales again. So that'll be another two or three months and then they will be gone. And other than that, if you have any questions about it, please uh, leave a question in the comments or you can email me if you go to holyhiker.com. That is the website, holyhiker.com, and you can see all of the models that are for sale right there. All right, thank you very much, and uh, hike clean, people.